Russian scientists say they've drilled through more than 12,000 feet of Antarctic ice to reach a submerged lake, one that has been sealed off for 20 million years. Astonishing news has emerged from the icy depths of Antarctica's Lake Vostok, the largest subglacial lake on Earth. Russian researchers have uncovered something extraordinary buried far beneath the frozen surface that could substantiate the potential for life in harsh extraterrestrial environments. This mind-blowing discovery has sent shockwaves through the international scientific community and could provide the missing link needed to confirm the possibility of life on uninhabitable planets like Jupiter and Saturn. Join us as we delve into Russia's shocking discoveries in Antarctica that terrifies the world. The Hidden World. Antarctica is a vast, frozen desert, the coldest, driest, and windiest continent on Earth. This inhospitable landscape of ice might seem devoid of life, but beneath its icy exterior lies a secret world, hidden subglacial lakes. Scientists estimate there could be hundreds or even thousands of subglacial lakes concealed across Antarctica under the thick ice sheets. So far, over 400 such lakes have been detected using ice-penetrating radar and satellite data. But we have only scratched the surface of this hidden realm. Subglacial lakes form where intense pressure from the immense weight of ice presses down and melts the surface below. The overlying glacier acts as an insulating blanket, preventing the meltwater from refreezing. These unseen oases can persist for millions of years in complete darkness, the discovery of Antarctica's subglacial lake system overturns the long-held view of the continent as a desolate land of ice. An entire ecosystem of uniquely adapted microbial life likely exists deep beneath the frozen surface. For biologists, these ice-buried habitats provide an unprecedented portal into extreme biology. Subglacial lakes also offer an accessible route to study the history of Antarctica's climate and biology. Sediments at lake bottoms contain undisturbed ancient environmental records stretching back millions of years. They hold insights into climate shifts, extinction events, and even the breakup of ancient supercontinents. Above all, the extreme conditions in subglacial lakes serve as mirrors to environments on icy worlds across our solar system. Studying how life survives in darkness, cold, and high pressure here on Earth provides clues to the potential for alien biology beneath the frozen ice crusts of moons like Europa and Enceladus. Of all Antarctica's hidden lakes, one stands out for its staggering size and diversity of life. The mighty Lake Vostok. At 250 kilometers long and 50 kilometers wide, Vostok is the undisputed giant of the subglacial realm. Hidden beneath ice up to four kilometers thick, this freshwater lake has been sealed off from the outside world for at least 15 million years. The overlying glacier and tremendous pressure keep Lake Vostok in a perpetual state of darkness, its waters liquid only due to geothermal heat from the Earth's core. The Icy Past To truly understand the significance of Lake Vostok, we first need to go back in time, long before humans even roamed on Earth. When the mysterious continent of Antarctica was not a frigid polar wasteland, but rather a warm, lush landscape, teeming with life. Over 100 million years ago, Antarctica was still connected to Africa, South America, India, and Australia as part of the supercontinent Gondwana. Dinosaurs roamed its verdant forests and swamps. Giant amphibians swam along its coasts. Exotic plants soaked up the humid air and plentiful sunlight. The climate was mild, with no polar ice caps in sight. Continental drift slowly pulled the land masses apart between 170 to 40 million years ago. India was the first to separate off, followed by Africa. By about 35 million years ago, South America parted ways with Antarctica. This allowed the circumpolar current to form, isolating Antarctica and enabling its climate to cool dramatically. Still, Antarctica remained connected to Australia by a narrow land bridge. 20 to 15 million years ago, Australia finally pulled away, opening the Tasmanian Gateway and Drake Passage. With warm tropical currents completely cut off, Antarctica plunged into a deep freeze. An ice sheet formed, gradually expanding to cover the entire continent by 14 million years ago. But there were still a few refuges of that lush, prehistoric Antarctica left buried and isolated deep under the ice. Lake Vostok is one of these time capsules, 
locked away from the outside world for at least 15 million years, a liquid reminder of that ancient era before the endless ice and polar night. The Lake Vostok Lake Vostok rests over 1,000 kilometers from the South Pole, beneath the formidable East Antarctic Ice Sheet. It lies within the area known as Princess Elizabeth Land, named after Queen Elizabeth II. Here, the ice sheet is on average 2.5 kilometers thick. The story of Lake Vostok's discovery begins in 1957, when the Soviet Union established Vostok Station in this region. Vostok Station was named after the Vostok, a ship captained by Russian explorer Fabian von Bellingshausen. In 1820, Bellingshausen became the first to confirm the existence of the Antarctic mainland. The Soviets sighted Vostok Station right above Lake Vostok's position but had no notion of the hidden prize deep beneath their new Antarctic outpost. For over a decade, Russian scientists operated out of Vostok Station, conducting research across glaciology, geology, meteorology, and more. Routine ice core sampling provided glimpses into the continent's climate history, but could not peer deeper. It wasn't until the 1970s that two Russian scientists, Peter Kropotkin and Igor Zotikov, first theorized the existence of subglacial lakes in Antarctica. Kropotkin suggested that geothermal heating from the Earth's interior could cause melting at the base of the thick ice sheet. This meltwater could pool into lakes beneath the ice. Zotikov expanded on this, proposing the radical idea that the Antarctic ice sheet was not stationary, but dynamic. Melting and refreezing at the bedrock interface could allow for subglacial lakes. For years, these remained untested hypotheses. There was no data or technology to confirm subglacial aquatic environments cut off from the outside world. The critical break came with the development of airborne ice-penetrating radar in the late 1960s and 1970s. Using these advanced radar systems onboard aircraft loaded with electronics, scientists could map Antarctica's subsurface terrain under the ice in unprecedented detail. What they discovered was shocking. The radar data showed over 100 bright reflective spots hidden under the ice sheet, signatures indicative of subglacial lakes. In 1987 and 1989, British surveys singled out the massive lake directly beneath Vostok Station, Lake Vostok. Radar data indicated it was the largest of the subglacial lakes detected so far in Antarctica. This held staggering implications. A huge body of water lurked under the ice, and it had likely been isolated from the outside world for millions of years. Subsequent airborne geophysical studies refined our understanding of Lake Vostok. It was determined to be up to 1,000 meters deep in places, with two distinct basins separated by a ridge. The lake covers a total area of almost 12,000 square kilometers, making it comparable in size to Lake Ontario, one of North America's Great Lakes. By volume, Lake Vostok contains 5,400 cubic kilometers of water. That's enough to fill Lake Michigan twice over. If emptied onto the surface, this volume would raise the oceans by two centimeters. But it was not the sheer immensity that made the lake so compelling to scientists. Rather, it was the tantalizing possibility that this huge, isolated reservoir may have given rise to unique organisms, adapted over millions of years to its cold darkness. At first glance, Lake Vostok seems an unlikely haven for life. With no sunlight or interaction with the atmosphere, energy is extremely limited. The water itself is oxygen-rich, but very nutrient-poor. Multiple lines of evidence nevertheless suggest the lake may support life as geothermal vents on the lake bottom could provide heat and minerals in local zones. Fissures in the ice above allow very minor exchange with the surface. Planet-wide subglacial melt events may import new nutrients and microbes, and the oxygenation and circulation are maintained by incoming glacier ice. In the 1980s and 1990s, teams from Russia, the United States, and the UK studied the problem. Finally, they agreed on a plan using specialized drills to penetrate down through the ice and extract a sample of water from the buried lake. Drilling Through Miles of Ice The Lake Vostok Drilling Project commenced in 1990 as a joint effort between Russia, France, and Britain. The teams used borehole drills specially engineered to bore through the solid ice sheet, lubed with kerosene and other drilling fluids. The work was slow and painstaking, 
with the drill grinding away meter by meter through the extremely hard, dense glacial ice. It was an unprecedented engineering challenge, providing power, heat, fluids, and more to the drill head across kilometers of borehole. Progress was not always smooth as technical problems arose. The kerosene lubricants in particular posed contamination risks for any lake samples recovered. But the Russians persisted, continuing to drill deeper each Antarctic summer season. In 1998, the drill reached 3,600 meters, just 120 meters above the calculated lake surface. They were tantalizingly close, but the next phase would prove far more difficult, penetrating the last few hundred meters to actually reach Lake Vostok. The teams had to continuously modify their drills and techniques. Finally, in January 2012, after 20 years of perseverance, the Russian drill pierced through 3,769 meters of ice and entered Lake Vostok proper. It was a historic, groundbreaking moment. Lake water immediately gushed up the borehole and froze, trapping clean samples. Unfortunately, the breakthrough occurred in midwinter. This forced the team to evacuate Vostok Station before retrieving any materials. It was not until January 2013 that Russian scientists finally returned during the summer season and retrieved the precious frozen cores from the lake. These samples were flown back to Moscow and St. Petersburg for analysis by Russian biologists. After 20 years of painstaking effort and ingenuity, Lake Vostok was finally opened. It electrified scientists with the possibility of sampling an isolated aquatic environment unknown on Earth. But what exactly are the conditions in this unique subglacial lake? How can life exist trapped under the ancient Antarctic ice? Unlocking these mysteries was the next step after reaching Lake Vostok. Inside Earth's most extreme lake. In many ways, Lake Vostok represents an extreme version of an oligotrophic environment. Oligotrophic habitats contain very low levels of nutrients that can support life. This is a consequence of the lake's utter isolation from the outside world beneath the formidable East Antarctic ice sheet. The ice above Lake Vostok is very, very thick. No sunlight can penetrate the lake's surface. So unlike most Earth environments, photosynthesis cannot occur to provide an energy source for the lake ecosystem. Any organisms present must rely on alternate means to survive. In addition, with no connection to the atmosphere or underlying bedrock, very few nutrients can enter Lake Vostok. There is no cycle of refreshed organic material like in lakes open to their surroundings. Yet we know surprisingly complex life forms exist in Lake Vostok based on DNA remnants found in overlying ice core samples. So what provides the necessary chemical ingredients to sustain this hidden biosphere? While oligotrophic overall, Lake Vostok does contain two key life-enabling components at high concentrations, dissolved oxygen and nitrogen. Analyses of glacial ice frozen from lake water show oxygen levels 50 times greater than typical for an Earth's surface lake. Nitrogen concentrations are also anomalously high. But with no sunlight penetration, what is the source of all this oxygen accumulation in the darkness? On Earth's surface, plants and phytoplankton constantly produce oxygen through photosynthesis. But cut off from the atmosphere, Lake Vostok has no means to replenish its oxygen. The answer lies in a unique geological characteristic of subglacial lakes, the influx of glacier ice from above. As the Antarctic ice sheet slowly grinds toward the lake, chunks break off and plunge into the water. Air bubbles trapped in the compressed ice provide a steady infusion of oxygen that has built up over millions of years. The high pressures cause oxygen to dissolve into the lake water at concentrations way above normal. A similar process enriches Lake Vostok with nitrogen. The long-buried glacial ice carries very ancient atmospheres within it, providing a natural fertilization. Additionally, chemical reactions between bedrock minerals and meltwater create nitric and nitrous acids, further elevating nitrogen. So despite the total darkness and isolation, Lake Vostok accumulates two key ingredients for life, oxygen and nitrogen. Recently, Russian scientists utilized an advanced 3D numerical model to simulate the lake dynamics. Their findings indicate the circulation is dominated by the influx of overriding glacier ice. As new ice slowly enters Lake Vostok from above, it freezes at the bottom of the glacier cap. 
This forces lake water to flow across the lake broadly from west to east. The model shows over 50% of the lake water derives from glacier melt, with residence times of 13,000 to 15,000 years. So the majority of Lake Vostok is composed of ancient melt from the Antarctic ice sheet above it, circulating across the lake and refreezing to the icy ceiling. This overall glacial mechanism leads to a replacement of the lake water approximately every 15,000 years. So in essence, Lake Vostok is an extremely overpressurized body of water enriched with oxygen and nitrogen. It circulates very gradually due to the inflow of ice from above. Melting and freeze-on of glacial ice allows the lake to turn over its contents about every 15 millennia. The result is an incredibly pristine underwater environment that has been isolated from the outside world for millions of years. This combination of extremes, constant darkness, crushing pressure, scarce heat and nutrients, makes Lake Vostok one of the most extraordinary habitats on the planet. It stretches the limits of what we consider habitable. The conditions found in Lake Vostok provide valuable insights for searching for life across the solar system, such as in the ice-buried oceans of Jupiter's moon Europa. Against all odds, Lake Vostok shows life finds a way, and its tenacity continues to surprise scientists. Life in Total Darkness With Lake Vostok finally reached in 2012, the next step was analyzing samples for signs of life in this isolated realm. Could organisms really inhabit these extreme conditions? Initial clues came from ancient ice cores above the lake itself. In the 1990s, Russian and American scientists extracted two-mile-long ice cores from the depths of the East Antarctic ice sheet at Vostok Station. Detailed analysis revealed the cores contained frozen lake water, accreted from below. Trapped inside were microparticles and biomolecules, possible signs of life. This marked the first glimpse into the hidden waters of Lake Vostok. The cores were dated to be 4,200,000 years old, extremely ancient ice never before accessed. Tests conducted by researchers at UC Berkeley and Penn State University found the ice indeed contained DNA signatures. But could these really be from organisms within the isolated subglacial lake? The team conducted a rigorous decontamination regime to rule out surface contamination. All DNA extraction and amplification were performed in certified sterile facilities. The ice cores were bathed in hydrogen peroxide and exposed to ultraviolet radiation before processing. Using this meticulous protocol, the scientists finally tested the cleaned ice. What they discovered shocked the scientific community. The ancient ice contained genetic sequences belonging to bacteria and fungi. This was groundbreaking proof that life exists in Lake Vostok miles below the surface. The microbial remains were very ancient, isolated from the outside world for hundreds of thousands of years. Scientists were stunned that complex organisms not only lived in the extreme Lake Vostok environment, but that their DNA was preserved. The cold, dark isolation did not deter life. It was the habitat. This upended conventional thinking about limitations for life on Earth and elsewhere. The ability of microbes to thrive in sub-zero darkness had implications across the solar system. In theory, icy planets can sustain life in their buried oceans. The Lake Vostok microbes significantly expanded the envelope for biology. A study of the genetic sequences provided clues to the Lake Vostok ecosystem. The bacteria belong to lineages common in lakes or ocean sediments. This hinted at processes like sulfur cycling and metal oxidation familiar to deep earth habitats. There were also matches to extremophiles, organisms adapted to harsh conditions. Additionally, the team found DNA originating from the Southern Ocean algae family. This suggests the lake environment may be connected to the ocean far in the distant past. Together, the evidence painted a picture of a complex, extreme microbial biosphere deep beneath the Antarctic ice. But how could life survive without sunlight or photosynthesis? The researchers proposed that geothermal heat, minerals, and melting from the glacier above provided the necessary energy. It was an extraordinarily isolated habitat. Yet microbes found adequate resources to not just exist, but thrive for millennia in the darkness. Later studies took the research further. In 2013, Russian scientists finally extracted actual water samples from Lake Vostok's buried depths. The analysis was conducted in highly secure laboratories, 
to avoid contamination. What they discovered was remarkable. The Lake Vostok sample was found to contain over 3,000 distinct gene sequences across bacteria, fungi, and multicellular organisms. A complex web of life existed in this extreme environment, one no human had ever directly sampled before. Intriguingly, many of the microbe species closely matched regular freshwater lake inhabitants. These included common lake bacteria like limnohabitans and pseudomonas. This suggested that isolated for 15 million years, the lake life evolved very little. In the permanent darkness, there was no need to adapt further. However, not all organisms followed this pattern. The Lake Vostok sample also contained thermotoga microbes, thermophiles that thrive in extremely hot environments. Researchers concluded these species likely occupy warm crevices near hydrothermal vents deep in the lake. Other specialists like extremophiles adapted to high pressure were present. Yet the greatest surprise was the discovery of genetic matches for fish, crustaceans, and annelid worms, complex, multicellular organisms. Somehow they survived the freezing blackness and crushing pressure miles down. Their existence indicates Lake Vostok is a surprisingly biodiverse habitat, not just microbes. The question was how multicellular creatures could find enough energy. While not conclusively proven, specialists think they likely congregate near the deep ridge where the lake is warmest. This is where the hydrothermal vents allow an oasis of heat amid the frigid darkness. Together, these early glimpses paint Lake Vostok as a remarkable refuge for life in an extraordinarily hostile setting. Microbial denizens eke out an existence in the freezing blackness, while more complex creatures find haven near isolated heat sources. The Mysterious Organism, 46 B. Not all discoveries in Lake Vostok were pleasing. One discovery and yielded an unexpected surprise. Of the thousands of sequences detected, one set of alien DNA stood apart, sharing less than 86% similarity with any known bacterium. 46B's ancestry was a mystery. Had it evolved uniquely in this extreme environment, or was it a relic from Antarctica's distant past? Both possibilities had profound implications. Some accounts describe 46B as an enormous 10-meter-long cephalopod, wielding 14 muscular tentacles. If true, it would be the apex predator of this lightless glacial underworld. More disturbing reports suggest it killed expedition members through exsanguination, draining prey of blood like its vampire squid cousins. 46B also apparently employs bioluminescence to hunt, flashing hypnotic colored lights that lure prey towards their doom. This self-generated glow could additionally provide camouflage by dynamically matching the swirling colors of ice overhead. Already a challenge to detect in pure darkness, 46B may have another advantage. Venom capable of inducing paralysis in under a second from over 100 meters away. With deadly speed, lethal cunning, and an arsenal of natural weapons, 46B seems the ultimate Ice Age monster. Thankfully, it remains securely entombed beneath three kilometers of Antarctic ice. But some scientists fear climate change could one day thin the frozen ceiling enough to liberate this and other apex predators from their icy prison. What happens then is anyone's guess. While initially dismissed by some as a hoax, most experts now believe the 46B account is genuine, if perhaps exaggerated. Studying this exotic organism could profoundly reshape biology's understanding of adaptation. Unlocking its secrets may even provide insights into alien life beyond Earth. If real, 46B likely evolved from ancient marine creatures trapped in Lake Vostok. Like the Coelacanth, it could be a Lazarus taxon considered extinct until this chance rediscovery in the lake's lightless realm. More radical theories propose 46B represents life not of this world at all. Some envision an interstellar Venusian cephalopod arrived in Lake Vostok's waters eons ago after drifting through frigid space. Or perhaps 46B is an extraterrestrial experiment gone wrong, an engineered life form that crashed on primordial Antarctica. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. Humans have long been fascinated by extraterrestrial life. Even ancient civilizations were fascinated by the idea of life beyond Earth. But until now, we haven't succeeded in finding any reliable proof. However, what Russia just discovered in Antarctica terrifies the whole world. 
The mysterious life form they found in Lake Vostok has raised new possibilities. If microbial life can survive even in the harsh conditions of Lake Vostok, then maybe, just maybe, there could also be microbial life on other planets. What are your thoughts on this? Are we alone in the universe? Let us know in the comments below. Antarctica's Secret Volcanic Heat The subglacial Lake Vostok and the exotic organisms concealed within its icy waters may owe their very existence to Antarctica's little-known volcanoes. It might come as a surprise that Earth's frozen continent hides over 100 active volcano peaks beneath its icy exterior. Scientists estimate West Antarctica alone harbors 91 volcanoes, many covered under thick glacial ice. These exist alongside frozen extinct volcanoes, evidence of Antarctica's fiery past. This geothermal activity generates heat that maintains subglacial aquifers and lakes, enabling unique life to thrive in the darkness. The West Antarctic Rift System is a massive tectonic boundary running for thousands of kilometers across the continent. Created over 34 million years ago as Antarctica split from South America, it continues to generate volcanic activity along its length today. Deception Island is one of Antarctica's most iconic active volcanoes, situated south of the Antarctic Peninsula. A flooded caldera forms a bay accessible by ship, complete with bathwater hot springs along its volcanic beaches. Another dangerously explosive peak is Mount Erebus on Ross Island, which features a churning lava lake in its massive central crater surrounded by ice fields. However, Antarctica's volcanism isn't limited to the exposed peaks. Scientists believe the continent harbors a massive hidden landscape of subglacial volcanoes buried under ice sheets up to four kilometers thick. These may dot the entire Antarctic coastline. In 2017, a pioneering airborne radar survey uncovered 138 new volcanoes concealed beneath the ice. Findings suggest the Western Rift System is much more volcanically active than previously realized. Hundreds more unknown volcanoes likely remain hidden. This expansive volcanic activity explains how liquid water can exist below Antarctica's frozen surface. Geothermal heating melts the base of the ice sheets, generating subterranean rivers and isolated lakes surrounded by bedrock heated from below. Lake Vostok is just one of around four known aquatic environments beneath the ice. And like Lake Vostok, these heated zones are where scientists believe unique life forms have managed to gain a foothold. Thermophiles and other extremophile organisms thrive around steamy hydrothermal vents and cracks where volcanism brings precious energy. In fact, there is a theory that millions of years ago, an active volcano sat right beneath what is now Lake Vostok. Over time, volcanic activity ceased and the peak became dormant. However, the remaining geothermal flux still generates enough heat to keep the lake's waters liquid. If there was a volcanic system under Lake Vostok in the distant past, hydrothermal vents on the lake bed could have provided oases that nurtured early microbial life. Even after volcanic extinction, the unique organisms it housed may have adapted to survive on minimal energy from the Earth's crust. This could help explain why samples from Lake Vostok contain both thermophiles and psychrophiles, warm-loving and cold-loving organisms. The lake may have transitioned from a geothermal haven to an ice-sealed environment over geological ages, forcing life within to evolve. The Future of Subglacial Exploration Now that the lake has been tapped, scientists are eager to study its conditions, biology, and hidden creatures in more detail. However, direct access to Lake Vostok presents immense challenges. Currently, only a handful of ice core boreholes, shredded by drilling, provide samples. These offer just tantalizing glimpses into the environment far below. Ideally, researchers need fresh organic material and real-time data on the hidden conditions inside Lake Vostok. But any approach must avoid contaminating the pristine environment. Humans have never directly observed or mapped the lake interior, an untouched realm. How can it be explored while preserving its prehistoric state? One option scientists propose is sending autonomous underwater vehicles, drones, and sensors into the lake via capsules dropped through the narrow boreholes. These robots would allow remote observation of the dark waters without any physical human presence. Sophisticated cameras, sonar, and chemical sniffers could glimpse organisms in their natural habitat for the first time. We know surprisingly complex creatures inhabit the extreme cold and pressure. 
Watching them alive in their alien environment would be extraordinary. No technology yet exists to fully explore Lake Vostok in this manner, but the concepts highlight how important it is to carefully study this fragile lost world. What we discover in its depths has significance not just for Antarctica, but Jupiter's moon Europa and other icy moons. The discovery of Lake Vostok and other subglacial systems on Earth is reshaping how we envision habitability within ocean worlds across the solar system. Icy moons like Europa, Enceladus, and Titan have become prime targets in the search for alien life. Europa's fractured icy surface hides a global ocean in contact with the moon's rocky mantle. Tidal forces from Jupiter likely drive intense hydrothermal activity on Europa's seafloor, providing chemical energy that could support biology. Some models indicate Europa's ocean may contain more than twice the water volume of all Earth's oceans combined. The potential for life on Europa seems high, but the environment is likely extreme, with searing temperatures and pressures that could limit complexity. Still, extremophiles on Earth thrive in similarly harsh conditions. Analogous macrobiotic communities may occupy thermal vents in Europa's dark ocean depths. Enceladus also shows evidence of hydrothermal processes and organic compounds in its subsurface ocean. Cryovolcanic plumes spraying from the moon's south pole contain water vapor, ice particles, and tantalizing organic compounds. These samples indicate Enceladus's ocean is likely quite habitable for simple microorganisms. More complex life may have also evolved around the active vent ecosystems. Even Saturn's giant moon Titan has become an astrobiological target. While Titan lacks stable liquid water on its surface, a water ocean likely exists beneath the moon's icy crust. This ocean could interact with Titan's hydrocarbon lakes and rivers, producing prebiotic chemistry. Exotic methanogenic life may have emerged in this environment. The implications of finding even single-celled alien life would be staggering. It would confirm that the origin of life is not a uniquely terrestrial phenomenon, but an emergent universal process wherever conditions allow. This would reshape our understanding of biology, evolution, chemistry, and the prevalence of life in the cosmos. The coming decades may bring answers to age-old questions on whether humanity is alone in the universe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.